In this video, we're going to take a look at the enhancements to the drawing environment inside of Autodesk Inventor 2012. Here we'll start by taking a look at a large assembly. Now, I know some of you say, well, that's not large. Well, 2,700 unique occurrences is pretty decent, but it's not uncommon for some of you to have 30, 40, 50,000 50, parts in a design. Uh, I even have a client that has upwards of 400,000. So when they start creating drawings for this, it becomes really tiresome because it sometimes will take a long time to create a drawing view for something that large with all the parts turned on. So here what we're going to do is showcase how the high-speed drawing views inside of Inventor 2012 can make that process a little bit faster. Well, not just a little bit, I would say a lot. So I'm going to put in some placeholders here for the views. And typically this particular one would take me about perhaps 10 minutes to create all the views from this on an older machine or something with uh, you know, Inventor 2010 or 2011. So put my last one over here. And we're going to take a look in the browser on the left and you're going to see a little bit more unique of uh, an icon over here. And you can see that little refresh or the recycle symbol. That lets you know that it's refreshing and using a raster view as a current placeholder while it finishes loading the files. So that way you can keep working. So here we're going to process the views. I'm also going to launch up my task manager. You can see as it goes over creation of the, of the views, it's actually accessing the multiple cores of the processor. So you're seeing a spike pick up on CPUs 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 4 is actually where my inventor is being used. So you can see it's picking up during the creation of that to make the process of creating these drawing views faster. And then it's slowing down as it's no longer needed for those creations. This is a huge enhancement for the software. Uh, this can take a file that may take 30 minutes to open down to about 5 minutes with some of the testing I've done. Now the other nice enhancement here is the availability to change your orientation after you've already placed your views. So let's say I went in here and I created these views and I don't want it. I can actually now go to my base view and as you can see I can't pick on the standard orientations but I can pick on that change view box. So here I can go into my model, pick the correct view that I want, select it. It's going to tell me I have some other views that need to update along with this. I'm basically flipping to the other side. You'll see my base view update as well as my top projected view and my right section view. Now the ISO view is not attached to that base, so I'll have to change that one manually as well. But I don't have to go back, um, delete the view and recreate again to do so. I can basically use this change view orientation to get that done.